Okay, let's see. Oregano, mayonnaise, Vegemite, cucumber, chili, rump steak, basil, spinach, whiskey, olives, milk, and a pinch of salt. That should do it. I would hope so. It sounds like you've put in everything but the kitchen sink. No, that's in there too. What have you made anyway? Chemical waste? It came through on the custom-made option of my website. You mean someone specifically placed an order asking for these ingredients to be mixed together? Where's it being delivered to? The White House? I'm not touching that. So how's business? Booming. Aside from the custom orders, all the regular meals have been selling like crazy. Too bad I've had to stop taking orders for my T-bone steaks. What's been your bestseller? My chicken surprise. And the surprise is, it's macaroni cheese. Last month I met a bloke who liked it so much, he was going to send me a crate of escargot as thanks. Great, here it is. Escargot. Must be a spelling mistake. Let's crack it up. <laughs> Why'd you do that? It was full of snails. Eric, that's what escargot is. Who'd be silly enough to eat a snail? The same people silly enough to eat frog's legs. The Welsh? Oh, sorry, Gordon. I need to give that a stir. And what is it? My vegetarian surprise. Let me guess. It's a meat lover's pizza. No, rabbit stew. I just need to add one final ingredient. Horseradish. In goes the radish. And now the horse. Eric, no! What? Horseradish is not a horse and a radish? It's a coarse plant with a thick white pungent root used as a condiment type food product. Huh? This thing! Oh, I wish I knew that sooner. I could have saved myself a lot of trouble from the Animal Liberation Front. How long have you thought horseradish was so literal? Wait, have you always thought a food product's description was literal? Yeah, guess that explains why no one liked my peanut butter. So, those hot dogs you made for the preschool? Ah! And the chocolate mousse for the Chinese embassy? Ah! And the spotted dick for the queen? Oh, not again.